Hello and welcome back to Azabot TV. Reese here. We're uh, finally into uh, game three in episode three against Lithuania, as you can see. Um, other games in the group include Malta versus Slovenia, Scotland versus Slovakia. Let's have a look at the group. So we're top of the group, five points clear. Lithuania are fifth. Only Malta doing worse than them, just four points from eight games. So I'm quite confident with this one. So I'd like to thank Tiago Rees and Kenny Tam very quickly for subscribing. Do really appreciate your support. Okay, so where's the fixture list? Today we've got Lithuania and in three days we've got Scotland. And then we've got a couple of friendlies coming up next month. Switzerland and Uruguay. So it's be a good little test to see how... Uh... I mean, we've got quite a few injuries at the moment. Let's have a look at the injuries in the scouting pool. The, sorry, the national pool. As you can see, we've just been injury plagued for the last, well, since all three series, we've been absolutely in injury plagued. Uh, we've got Danny Rose, which is actually in the squad, drink water and Shaw, small win. The defence is just ruined. Um, I'm playing uh, Eric Dyer as left back in this game, which I'm not happy with, but both the left backs we've got have the orange injury symbol and are injured for like four days, two days, something like that. But yeah, um, Sturridge is injured, Nathaniel Klein definitely would have been included, but he's injured. Harry Winks, the young lad who we played in the last game, he would have been included because he could have played in this game. I'm, I'm going to put a bit of a bit of a youth team out on this one. Um, I'll show you the selection. So I've gone with Hart and uh, Net again. Holgate, the young player, is going to get another game. Keane and Twan ZB is going to get another game. Like I said, I put Eric Dyer at the, as, as a full-back. Um, no other option at all, as you can see. Um, Henderson, defensive midfield, because I've used Dyer there. So we've got Shelby and Barkley in the centre. So we've made like seven changes to this team compared to the last two games. Um, we've got Walcott on the wing on the right, and we've got Lingard inside forward on the left. And we've had to go with Danny Welbeck up front, um, again due to injuries. And there's not exactly a wealth of strikers for England that you can really choose from. I might even ask Wayne Rooney to come out of retirement. It's not ideal, but not not bad as a backup, I suppose. So the reason I chose Shelby um, into the in, for this squad is in really good form. So that's why we've gone with Shelby on this one. So before we start the game, though, get yourself into the comments and and just predict a scoreline. Make sure you do this before the game starts, though. No cheating. All right, guys. So let's uh, let's start the match. So apparently, Spalvis, their main man up top, is uh, the star player for them. Doesn't look great, to be honest. I think even with this B team, we should be okay. I'm really confident of that. We've got a decent bench. Benches, obviously, we've saved a lot of players for the next game against Scotland. I don't want to lose against Scotland. So I've really gone into this game with that in mind. So it's more of an experiment in this game. Uh, I'm quite interested to see how Dyer will do at, the left, at left back. See how Holgate will do. Maybe second cap. Uh, let's see how well Beck will do up top. All right. So uh, team talk. Calm. No problem at all. Let's go with that. Right, guys. Cross your fingers and wish me luck. By the way, just so you know, I am now an affiliate for G2A Games, as I mentioned in the last video. Uh, there is a link in description. I get a little bit uh, of a commission from any sales. Um, it won't cost you any more for that. It is the cheapest place to buy your games from. It's cheaper than game, cheaper than Xbox Live Store, cheaper, than, cheaper rather than PSN. Um, so it makes perfect sense for you to buy games from there if you're thinking about buying anything. Have a look and uh, see what the uh, prices are. Also, uh, I am on Facebook, at Azabot TV. So do go and like my page. Twitter, Azabot TV Official. So yeah, I'm really trying to build up my Twitter at the moment and my Facebook. They are new, so as you can imagine, it's quite hard. 
But yeah, I'm hoping for the next uh, set of international fixtures. We've not got so many injuries. It really is a, a headache trying to put these, these squads together. Safe hands heart. Do subscribe guys too if you haven't already. Really does help the channel and Henderson's injured. For God's sake, what is going on with these injuries? You have to be Deli Alley. Shelby can play in defensive midfield, I believe. Mazella. Show him what you've got tonight. I want a good display. We all know he's capable, especially against Lithuania. I just don't want to have ended up uh, disrespecting the team too much, Lithuania, because It'd be an absolute disaster. Oh, nice. Lovely goal from Deli Ali. Glad I brought him on. He's broken the deadlock. Five shots later. Two shots on target and a goal. Pretty even on possession. Deli Ali, so far, man of the match. Walcott to cross it. Not the best of crosses. Eight shots now, guys. Seems to be getting a bit, uh, bit better as the game progresses. Possession's getting better. Slowly but surely. Lithuania, eight fouls so far. No wonder we've picked up an injury. I just feel like sometimes this game is bugged in that way. I just I think sometimes you just you, you're gonna get in, players injured. You know, once it starts, you get a few at a time, and then you just know it's gonna spiral out of control. It's the same at club level. Oh, lovely, Barkley, two 0 Don't know if you watched the, the, the previous two videos, guys, in this series. Oh, 3 0 Delielli again. Um, as I was saying, the last uh, couple of videos, we did concede a penalty in both games. Hopefully, this won't be three. If it is, there's definitely a bug or two in the game still. It is still relatively new, though. It's out of beta, though, so by now it should be spot on. 11 shots to one now. Barkley with a free kick. Deflected. Walcott to cross. Shelby always sticks out for me. I'm a United fan and he always plays well against United. And since he's in a run of good form, I thought, why not? I'll bring him in. I was going to bring him in on the, uh, the last videos, but he was injured. Well... Let's passionately tell them that we're very happy. Keep it up. Let the second half begin. Can Deli Alley get a hat trick? Can Theo Walcott swing in a good cross? Maybe even a bigger question. Not a bad effort. Terrible cross again. Absolutely terrible. I haven't got many options for crosses though. Something England miss on this game is uh, somebody with decent crossing attributes. Weren't the best ball. I'll be happy with 4-0. Oh, nearly made it there. Nearly made that 4 0. Come on, lads.
By the way, just forgot to mention this is at Wembley, not in Lithuania. Spalvis, their star player. Oh, so close to that hat trick. What a shame. 17 shots to one now. This has been a very dominant game for England. Wasn't a bad cross from Walcott. Dyer swings one in. Oh, and their star players lost the ball. Welbeck failed to uh, turn it into a goal. Holgate's not doing too bad. 7.4. The best defender out there so far. Ross Barkley's got a 9. Deli Alley's got 8.8. .8. Let's make a couple of subs now then. So, what have we got here then? Let's have a look. Barkley, anyone to replace him with? No. We'll bring Kane on for Welbeck. Jones on for Holgate. Uh, sorry for Keane. Let's give a team talk. On a good display. Come on, one more goal. 4 0 is a nice number. 3 0. We've had one of them against Slovakia. Let's make that last substitution. I'm just going to throw Walker onto the left just to give uh, Dyer a bit of a break for the last five minutes. It's not ideal, I know, but never was ideal in the first place. Not going to give him a team talk for five minutes, three minutes. Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to get that fourth, guys, but... You know, clean sheet, 3-0. At Wembley. And that's us qualified. So, England are going to the finals. Good news. So, uh, please do leave comments in the comments box. Let me know where you think, uh, where you predict me and this England team to, to fall off. Um, be interesting to see what you guys think. We got what we wanted tonight. Thoroughly professional job. We'll say that uh, passionately. Let me know if you think we'll win it. That's a possibility too. And what do you think of that performance also? I thought it was okay. So again, looking at the fixtures, we've got Scotland in the next game in three days. Switzerland on the 8th of November, which is a month in ahead, and uh, Uruguay six days after that, so we get a good break on the next one, rather than these three-day breaks. It's just not enough. Like I say, I'm now an affiliate with uh, G2A Games, cheapest games you're going to find. Please do click on that link in the description, and uh, if you do buy something, you're helping support the channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and most importantly, do subscribe. It helps me massively. Puts a big smile on my face when I see that notification pop up. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.